Is Apple phasing out Intel? Well, yeah. Definitely. But there's discussion about whether or not the Intel MacBooks of the last few years will be obsolete with the addition of Mac's new OS, Monterey. Last year was huge for the MacBook. Apple's homegrown silicon chip, the M1, was one of the largest upgrades to their computers in recent memory. Coupled with the M1's introduction was Mac OS Big Sur, which rolled out a wealth of accessibility features, improvements to Safari, and much more. We actually talked about this in a previous video if you'd like to go and check that out. Monterey is going into beta this July, and the feature list is... Eh? Eh? The key word is integration. Apple is working to have all its devices compatible with each other. AirPlay is coming to Mac. You can connect to Apple Fitness Plus. Universal control is a heavily totted feature. You can control multiple Apple devices with one mouse and keyboard, as if they were an additional monitor. This could be great for digital artists with workflow across devices. Apple's decisions represent the broader wave in tech navigating toward what is called the Internet of Things. This is the potential of internet capability for all technology. One day you'll use your iPhone to shut off the Apple oven you left on in the antechamber of your Apple bunker. Aside from this, a plethora of updates are coming to FaceTime. You can share your screen, you can stream video or music together, but here is the contentious part. A year ago, in our video on the iPhone 12's leaked camera, oh my god, look at my pandemic hair, we talked about how machine learning contributed to portrait mode. This is a mode that artificially blurs out the background in photos. This feature is being integrated into FaceTime on MacBooks, but only those with the M1 chip. Apple is citing the lack of the Intel chip's capacity for machine learning as the barrier. So that's where talk of Intel's doom is coming from at present. Apple announced their eventual departure from Intel chips when the M1 debuted, so this is just another step. Here's Techable's perspective. Short answer is no. This update isn't going to kill your Intel MacBooks, you just aren't going to be able to hide all the anime fan art behind you. Existing functionality isn't going away with Monterey, but Intel users will be missing out on features that Apple could have made work on Intel-powered Macs if they designed them with Intel-powered Macs in mind. What should be of greater concern is that this disparity of features is going to continue into the future, and what Intel-powered MacBooks might be missing out on is only going to become more substantial as time goes by. So, what do you think? Will you be buying an Apple Silicon MacBook in the future, or are you going to ride it out with your Intel-powered Macs? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and while you're down there, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to Techable if you liked this video. This is Kevin, coming from the, the Techable space again, at long last. Uh, I'm very happy to not be in my basement anymore. Stay informed out there, folks. We'll see you next time.